Hey everybody, I'm Emily from Life So Savory and today we're gonna to be sewing up some really cute summer shorts. They are simple and easy and perfect for wearing under skirts and dresses or just as shorts uh, for playtime around the summer. So I'm a few minutes late, a little bit of te technical issues um, today, but now we are here and we are going to get started. And I hope you will be um, following along and checking out what we're doing. So um, yes, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a couple things to the Facebook post and then and do a couple shares and then we'll get started. So I'm glad you are here and you are um, joining in today. Like I said, we're gonna be sewing up my girl's summer shorty pattern, which is essentially just short leggings. My daughter uses them for undershorts, underskirts and dresses, or sometimes just as play shorts around the house. So um, my computer is being wonky, which is why I'm a few minutes late and seeming to just take forever to do things. So bear with me while I try to do a couple things here. Um, so I don't know if you saw yesterday, I was sewing with Angela over on the Brother Sews Facebook page, and we made these super cute t-shirts with the um, lettuce hem ruffled edge. So I did this one on the serger, and then this one I did the ruffles on the sewing machine, so you can do it on both. Super cute, easy, and fun, and that full tutorial will be up on my page next week. Um, but it was super fun. So if you haven't seen it, you can hop over to the Brother Sews page and watch the full replay from yesterday. It was a really good time. And um, yeah, so now we're here sewing today. Just things are <laughs> not working for me like I want them to right now. But hey, we are going to have a good time and um, go from there. Okay. So I can see that it's up and we're just gonna do quick edit and a quick share and then we're gonna get started. So I don't know if you've ever sewed the short leggings pattern. I would love to hear your experience. My daughter lives in these in the summer, um, but I hope they're useful and helpful for other people too. You can always, of course, just cut off a legging pattern that you like, or sometimes I'll take leggings that Rose has worn all winter and when they get holes in the knees, I will cut them off and those will become our shorts. Um, actually, I haven't sewn these shorts from scratch for at least two years, maybe even longer, because the past few years I've either cut off long leggings or she's been wearing, like, she just grows up. She doesn't really grow out. So I have not um, needed to sew a bigger size. We just have kind of worn the same sizes. Um, and, but this, she had some on, on Sunday under her Easter dress and they, they were really tight. So she can still get them on, but it, it seemed like it was time to make her some new shorts. So, um, I'm going to sew up a few pairs, but there might also be some leggings that I end up cutting off for her and, um, we'll go from there. So. You need for this project to download and print the free short legging pattern, which is linked in the description of this video. So you can grab it there and trace off the size. This is a size five width and eight length. It is shortened a half inch on the front side, which is this one, because my daughter is really particular about things coming up too high on her stomach and she's always pushing pants and leggings down. So I just decided to lower it just a smidge as I'm sewing it to hopefully make it so that she's okay with it. All right, so um, that is what we're doing. I've cut two lengths of elastic and my plan is to sew up one pair on the sewing machine to show you how easy it is and one pair on the serger just to show you that it can be done with either machine in case you don't have both. So that is what we're doing. And we're gonna start with the serger pair because I love it a lot. And um, it's probably my favorite 
for sewing this project, but you can do it on the sewing machine, which we will do next. Okay, so let's get started. This is fun and easy and a simple project. So I've cut two layers of the shorty pattern and they are together right sides. So I cut them out like this so I can just go ahead and start sewing with them like this. So we're going to sew the curved crotch seam, both the front and the back. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with that. They're already right sides together, so we can easily just begin sewing. And you are going to just love how quick this comes together. Whether you have a sewing machine or a serger, this is seriously one of the easiest things that you can sew, and we love them around here. Okay, so now we've done that. So the next step is to open up the legs and we're gonna sew the inseam. Okay, so you wanna match up the center seams and then I just sew from the bottom of one leg over to the bottom of the other leg. Making sure that center seam is lined up. the legs before sewing um, so they're in a straight line, then you want to go ahead and do that before you sew that part I just sewed. I'm going to hem it here on the cover stitch in a minute. Um, hopefully it works, <laughs> but um, I just am sewing through. Okay, so if you've lost track of the front and the back, it's easy to tell because the back is higher, okay? So now we're going to put in the elastic told you this is so so simple so I'm gonna this one we're doing on the serger so I'm gonna take my elastic and sew it the short ends together and then I'm going to find the opposite side as well so now I have this halved and I'm going to match up those halves with the seams of the leggings so we have the back seam and on or next to if it's too bulky I'm going to place that seam I just sewed on the elastic and then this other mark the front we're going to place on that front seam and I'm placing this on the back side of the fabric okay and the thing about leggings is they have a negative stretch which means this waist actually will have to stretch to go on my daughter because leggings are meant to be um, tight and not loose. So generally, when you put your elastic in, it's already about the same size as the fabric, so you don't have to do a lot of stretching. But I am just um, tacking it down in four places around the top of these shorts. Okay, so here's the little shorts we got going, and we have them tacked down. Now I'm just gonna sew this all on in one step with the serger, and I would do the same thing with the sewing machine, but just be zigzag. I'll show you here in a minute. Um, and what you wanna do is you wanna go along and sew on the edge of the fabric, and if you do need to stretch the fabric to fit, go ahead and do that, but we don't wanna cut the elastic. If we cut the elastic with the serger blade, it can compromise the integrity of the elastic, and then it might unravel or variety of other not good things. So I'm sewing along the very edge of the fabric, trimming any bumps or lumps in the fabric, but trying not to cut the elastic at all. And if you do this on a serger, it's a really beautiful finish, but it looks fine on the sewing machine too, and I will show you that in just a moment. Okay, so now the elastic is actually sewn on, okay? And you can see just how easy it is. It looks great from the front and the back. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it over and make an enclosed waistband without having to have sewn a waistband casing. And when you sew it like this, the elastic doesn't ever slide or twist or roll because of the way that it's sewn in. So at this point, 
you now could um, sew around this with your cover stitch, like I'm going to try to do, or a zigzag stitch. And I'll show you that on the second pair of shorts. We also are then going to hem the bottom of these shorts with the cover stitch, okay? But I do wanna grab, Rose has been complaining lately about um, not being able to tell the front and back of things. So I've been trying to be more intentional since I have this whole pouch of labels. I've been trying to be more intentional about actually sewing them on the backs of her clothes. Now, I really would like to get new labels, but I haven't yet. So we're using the labels that I've had for many, many years. And they, they work fine, they're great. Um, I just want to get new ones, so okay. So this is my cover stitch and I did pull out um, earlier, I pulled out and cut off the needle threads because it's threaded with like pastels from a different project. Um, but, we still need to re-thread the needles. So I'm just gonna put in two needle threads. That's kind of my go-to for hemming. And I'm not quite sure what we got going here. It's like it's all, oh, yep, it's all down here. <laughs> Wound around the looper. Great, great, great. Okay, so let's try to get out this wad of string. And so if you're just joining, we are sewing up my free pattern, which is for short leggings. And these are great for summer, for wearing under things. My daughter likes to wear them under her skirts and dresses, especially to school um, where she's around people but also at home or um, for um, church or wherever she's wearing skirts and dresses, we usually ask that she put on a pair of shorts underneath just so she doesn't have to worry about showing her underwear and she can still play hard. So I want her to feel comfortable in whatever she's wearing and not be thinking about what is underneath, okay? So let me see. If I can grab a scrap of fabric here to test this before I go ahead and sew on my um, project. Can't find where to put my scissors. Oh, here. Um, okay. So, let's see if this is going to hem how we want it. Oh, and this, this was doing this before too. I think I'm going to take off this because that's what it seems to keep getting stuck on. It might rattle around a little bit up there, but... Okay, if you aren't familiar with a cover stitch machine, it is um, what you would see like on ready to wear clothes for t-shirt hems. And it puts, sorry, a double needle stitch on one side, kind of hard to see. And on the back, it puts a looper. I've got pink on mine and it's a stretchy stitch, which is great for hems and um yeah, for hems and any knit fabric. So I'm first going to hem the legs. So we're gonna turn over about a half inch and I'm actually going to sew on the top side of the fabric, on the right side, because that's where the needles are and the bottom is that pink looper and I don't really want pink loopers on these green shorts. So I have threaded green thread on to the needles and hopefully this will give us a nice hem around the bottom of the shorts again stretchy 
and easy. You can do this with a zigzag, which I will do on the second pair, or it's knit fabric, which means it's not going to fray, and you could actually just leave a raw edge. So it's totally up to you how you feel like you want to finish the bottom of these leggings. And if you're just trying to keep it super, super simple, well, go ahead and leave the edge raw. And, um, and I sometimes do that if I'm cutting off long leggings. I will totally just cut them and leave a raw edge. And it's super simple and easy. Um, and I just leave it at that. Okay, so now I'm finishing off, chaining off the edge of this, and then I'll go ahead and pull these through. I do want to show you what this looks like from the front and the back in just a minute here, but I like to tie off these threads and cut any threads that were left from this. Okay. So I'm just gonna tie off this cover stitch. You can't back stitch on a cover stitch, so I do like to just do a little tie off. So again, here's the back side with the looper. It's stretchy, and on the front, we have the double needle stitch. Focus on that. And that is leaves a nice hem on the bottom of my shorts. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the other leg, and then I'm going to um, sew that top elastic. Okay, and then we are going to do the same project one more time, sewing it on the sewing machine. So for those of you who are saying this is really nice and easy, but I don't have these machines, I also wanna show you how quick and easy this project is just using some stitches on your regular sewing machine. Okay, so, Rose needs more than one pair of shorts anyway, so I thought it would be awesome to show this project two different ways. And then you can use the method and the way that works best for you. So you don't definitely do not have to have any specialty machines. Although I always say if you are sewing with knit fabric and you sew a lot for your kids, I cannot say enough about the investment in a serger, not necessarily a cover stitch, but the serger has transformed my ability to sew quickly and easily for my kids and just not worry about, um, are my stitches strong enough on the knit fabric and is everything stretchy enough? Because we can use a zigzag and we can use a knit stitch, but, um, Every once in a while, you still get just not a very stretchy seam. And I don't know, I think about sending uh, rows off in leggings and wondering, hopefully they'll last for the day. We've never, I've never had a problem. So um, I think both the sewing machine and serger are great, but I do love, love, love my serger. So that's just my plug. If you sew with knits and sew for your kids a lot, Get a serger when you can. All right, so now we have the two legs done. Okay, look at quick, easy hem. And I'm going to sew this into the seam. So again, I'm going to sew with the um, right side of the fabric facing me because I want the needle stitches to be on the right side of the fabric, and then we'll have that looper on the back side. So as I'm sewing on the elastic, I don't really have to stretch. I just kind of sit straight down, and I can feel where the edge of the elastic is on um, my fabric. So I can feel this is elastic, this is not elastic. So I'm kind of wanting to sew right on the edge of that. Oops. Put that down. Okay, and um, normally if I was sewing a casing where I was worried about um, fabric being pinched or puckered, I would wanna make sure that I was stretching the fabric as I go. This one, like we said, is a pretty 
flat surface. We're not really stretching, but I'm probably tugging just slightly so that the material doesn't get caught up under the foot and pucker at all. And if it does, not a big deal. These are going to be undershorts. They're not really gonna see the light of day. And if they do, we'll probably just be hanging around our house. So again, not too big of a worry. Um, but just some general things that I think about when I'm top stitching around the elastic. And then we're gonna sew over this tag again on the back to finish. And tie off the threads. So just like that, even including re-threading this machine, one pair of shorts is finished. So easy, right? So it took me about 10, not even 10 minutes. Well, maybe 10 minutes. I had the pattern printed, but I did trace the new size. So I traced it on the tissue paper and then I cut out three pairs of shorts this morning in about 10 minutes. And then it probably takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to sew each pair. So just like that, we have a super cute pair of undershorts. Got that tag on there so that Rose can tell what's the back. Super easy. This is old uh, legging fabric that I used for winter. You can tell it's a little bit of a sweater print, but it's just gonna go under things. And so we have one pair finished. Okay, let's sew a second pair of shorts. We're gonna move over here and sew them with the sewing machine. So this machine also needs to be rethreaded. So I'm just gonna quick grab out this almost empty bobbin and put in a new bobbin. Okay, so quick and easy shorts, number one, are finished. Okay, if you don't haven't downloaded that free pattern, you can go ahead and grab it. The link is in the comments of this video or the description of this video. And it is such a super easy pattern. And what I love too is that you can easily adapt the width and the length. So tall, thin, short, wide, doesn't matter. Go ahead and just adjust it to be the perfect fit for you. All right, so we have leggings number two, elastic already cut, shorts already cut out. We're gonna sew in the same order. So we're gonna start with that curved crotch seam. And my machine, like many others, has that lightning bolt knit stitch, but personally, I just prefer a zigzag stitch for sewing my seams. So I'm gonna go ahead and take just a little bit of a seam allowance and then sew with a zigzag down the edge. So make sure you have a ballpoint needle in your machine that's for knit fabric. This is gonna fall off. And then you can backstitch the beginning of the end. But you can sew really great seams with your zigzag machine. See, it's nice and stretchy too, still. And if you use um, dark or coordinating thread, then even on the outside, you're not seeing any of those threads coming through. Okay, so let's sew the other side lining up the other curved seam. Okay, so you can still sew leggings without a serger. You can sew knit PJs. I sewed a ton of those things even before I had one. And so I just wanted to demonstrate using both types of machines today and my favorite ways to make sure that the knit is still stretchy, and I prefer the zigzag. So I actually just left this, the standard zigzag setting when I turned on my machine. So it's a width of 3.5 and a length of 1.4, which is the standard settings of my machine, but you can go ahead and change those if needed. Okay, so let's talk about hemming 
while we have an open leg rather than in the round with the closed circle leg. So what if you want to hem before you sew up that inside inseam, you can just go ahead and fold over your half inch and then sew this time because I have the same thread on the top and the bottom. I can sew on the back side of the fabric and then it also gives you a little view. It's easy to see with the light and the dark fabric how I'm sewing along there. Can you see this? I just kind of want to make sure that you can see the full machine here. It's a balance of getting close enough that you can see it, but not too close that things aren't cut off. Okay, so make sure you top stitch on the front and back of that so that, um, you know, even though it will be caught in the hem that this stays nice and even as it stretches doesn't unravel. Okay, so then you're gonna take and do the second hem. And you could also sew up that inseam and then sew this in a circle like I did on the cover stitch, totally up to you. I'm just demonstrating a few different methods here. sudden my foot my foot is super itchy <laughs> sorry <laughs> scratch it down there um okay so we are doing that all right and now we're going to sew up the inseam so again match that hem that you just created plus the center where the inseams meet and make sure you do so all the way to the edge because that's the bottom hem. So you wanna make sure that it matches up. And then I'm sewing along there and you can see, um, I'll show you, but I do have dark thread and the inside of this fabric is light so that you can See my stitches and that just kind of gives you an idea of the seam allowance. I'm just using a 3 8 inch or one centimeter seam allowance but there's the inside of the shorts and now we can turn these right side out and take a look. Again coming together so quick and easy so sewing all of this with a zigzag stitch including the super stretchy hem, these inside seams, and the rest of the leggings, okay? So again, we see our back is taller. Now we can take the elastic and still using the zigzag, I'm gonna overlap the elastic um, just a little bit, quarter inch, third of an inch, and we're gonna zigzag over it a couple times to form a circle, okay? So that'll be the back. Then again, you're gonna find the opposite half and I'll place a clip. And then what I will do is place my seam on the inside of the shorts, back seam. And then we'll take this other clip and place it on the inside of the shorts, the front seam. Okay. And then the inside of the shorts on the other. And now we have it quartered again. Like, like last time we have the elastic is pretty much the same circumference as the top of the shorts. So very easy to make, get it all matched up. This time we're not gonna be cutting off any fabric, but I am going to be zigzagging along the top of the elastic making sure to catch the fabric. And when I do this, I really like to make sure there's just a tiny bit of fabric sticking out above the elastic. So on the serger, that tiny bit of fabric would be trimmed off with the blade. But on this one, we're just gonna make sure that there's a tiny bit of elastic and or fabric, and that will make sure that there's no elastic touching skin 
on the inside when we are done. So it just gives us a little bit of a buffer along the top edge. And when I say a little bit, I mean, I'm talking like just a hair of fabric. If you can see it above the elastic, then that is good enough. And sewing all along the top with that same zigzag stitch. Super easy going around and it's going to create a stretchy top and easy for us to create the waistband. All right, so just like before, we are folding over and I like to start with the front and back seams and then I usually go between them and kind of quarter what we've got going. So this time you can decide if you're sewing on the outside or the inside. I'll probably still sew on the outside of the shorts and this allows me to make sure that I'm stitching neatly and that you can't really see my stitches. So again, I'm throwing that tag on that back center seam. And these are not the kind of tags that you put on the inside of clothes because they would be scratchy and itchy, um, but they're the kind that you can put on the outside. And so I do. All right, so we are just sewing around. I can, using my finger right here, to feel sort of that bottom edge of the elastic. This is really thin, um, double brushed poly fabric. So it is quite easy to feel through and see where that elastic ends. Okay, that's not really hard at all. And I also know it's one inch elastic. So I can use this little grid on my machine and kind of line up the edge with the one inch, which makes it super easy to make sure that I'm sewing a straight line and still sewing on the edge of the elastic. Okay, so quick and easy. I love when I'm sewing with knit fabrics, especially leggings like this, putting in the elastic like this is so super easy. And when you don't have to stretch the elastic much because it's the same size as what you're sewing, that is just the quickest and easiest way to put in elastic. So just like that, we finished the second pair of shorts all with the sewing machine. Can you believe it? So that was, I don't know, just over 30 minutes with talking and explaining and threading two machines. And we just finished two super cute and easy pair of undershorts, right? So, so easy. Sew some of these up. These can be Great with tank tops for summer. I mean, biker shorts. I don't know if they're gonna be in fashion this summer, but last summer for adults, they were all over. People just wearing shorts with cute t-shirts and it was so such a quick and easy style. And now Rose is ready with two pairs that will fit her better than the small ones that she's been wearing. And um, all set to go. Using the great way to use up your fabric scraps I love double brushed poly for leggings, and so that's what I'm also using for this, but I've also cut up old t-shirts or used scraps of things, um, but really an easy project. And again, you can sew it all on your sewing machine or a serger if you have one, but if you don't, it's totally a project that is um, perfect for this. So, do I ever put pockets on leggings? Yes! So I actually, if you search pocket on legging in on my on lifesosavory.com, I've got a whole tutorial how to cut out a side panel and add side pockets um, that look just like athletic leggings and then sew it all back up and you could totally do it on shorts. Ooh, maybe I should do that. Um, Cause I've done it on the long ones, but it would kind of be fun to add that on the short um, leggings as well. So something for me to consider um, but if you look it up, there's already a tutorial for it. So you could go ahead and just easily adapt it for shorts. Um, and my daughter loves wearing her pocket leggings and putting all kinds of things in the side pockets. So check that out. There is a tutorial how to use this free pattern with pockets and it's easy or take any legging pattern that you have that doesn't have pockets and add them. It's quick and easy and you can do it. And again, you can do it with the sewing machine or a serger. So Get sewing, head over and download this free pattern and sew up some super cute 
and easy shorts and get ready for summer. And I will see you later. Hopefully you're enjoying some nice weather where you live. It's a pretty nice day here, um, but it's definitely feeling like spring, so I'm enjoying it. So we will see you guys later. I hope you have a great rest of your week and um, sew something fun. Bye.